In this video, I'd like to compare CBSEM or covariance based structure equation modeling and VBSEM or variance based structure equation modeling. Another name for VBSEM is PLSSEM or partial least squares structure equation modeling. And you may have heard these names before, right? And now you want to may want to know what is the difference between them. Uh, so here, briefly, I want to compare them, just give you some information. Uh, but whatever we will discuss in this course is about covariance based structure equation modeling means CBSEM. However, don't worry because whatever you learn here can be applied in VB to understand VB to apply uh, to use VBSEM as well. Um, so after you complete this course, easily you can start um, using VBSEM. Uh, because the software packages are very similar and the methods are very similar. There are just some differences in terms of the application and I will give you more examples. Uh, but let me just um, go through this um, table first. So based on the literature, uh, most, I mean a large body of literature, many papers, uh, they say uh, theory, uh, when you want to test a theory, when you want to compare a theory or when you want to uh, yeah, when you want to confirm a theory or when you want to compare different theories and models, CBSEM is a, is a very good choice because CBSEM uh, look at the model as a whole and gives you goodness of fit um, curve. It means it gives you um, some indexes, fit model fit indexes, uh, to test the model as a whole, right? And then you can see whether this model or this theory um, you know, is a good theory or model or not, right? And you can use those model fit indexes to compare different uh, models and theories as well. Um, however, they say variance-based structure equation modeling or PLSSCM is mostly used for exploratory studies or when you want to maximize the variance explained by um, the model or in other words, uh, maximizing the R square of the dependent variables. Uh, so the I believe that one of the main advantages of CBSEM compared with VBSEM is the model fit indexes. Yeah, in VBSEM also there are some model fit indexes, but there are some arguments. So uh, uh, it's not really, there is no, uh, let's say, universal agreement on uh, the, um, um, the benefits of PLS or VBSEM model fit indexes. So uh, this is one of the big advantages or biggest advantages of CBSEM. However, uh, when you have formative constructs, uh, you should use PLS or VBSEM, right? So when you have formative constructs, um, I do not suggest using CBSEM. So this is one of the advantages of VBSEM or PLSSCM compared with common, uh, CBSEM or covariance based structure equation model. And another point is about the sample size. You may read in the you may have read in the papers or literature that when you want to use CBSEM, you need a large sample size. Here, the one that I have mentioned is a rule of thumb: five to twenty samples per each item. Some people are uh, you know have argued and anyway uh, it's just a rule of thumb right so anyway um, generally yeah, you need a large sample size but PLSSCM can be used when you have small sample size too but some people they say okay so it's very good I just collect 20 samples and test my model no you need to consider that uh, though you can although you can um, use PLSSCM when you have a small sample size but what about generalizability for example, if you want to do a test study, you want to test a model on customer satisfaction and the population size is 1 million and the model is a big model. Yeah, you can use PLS to test the model, but it doesn't mean that you can generalize with a high confidence level to the whole population, the results. So you still, although PLS can be used to test models with small sample sizes, uh, it doesn't mean you should collect, you, you, um, you know, use small sample size. So at the end, in social sciences, um, we always want to generalize the findings. So uh, it's good to have, uh, you know, uh, big enough sample sizes um, to be able to generalize the findings. So, um, but yeah, of course, there are some cases, in some cases, for example, the 
um, let's say the population is very small and um, it's very difficult to collect data um, from the and that population and you may just collect let's say um, 50 60 80 samples of course PLS can be a solution right and the software packages that um, uh, are used to um, for CBS EM or the most popular one is AMS um, there are other software packages Lizrel and many more and for VBS EM the I think now the uh, most commonly used one is smart PLS there are other software packages as well so uh, in this workshop as in this course as it's about CBS EM I will teach you how to use AMOS which is now um, attached to uh, CSS uh, to test your model but if you want my personal experience if I want to summarize everything use AMOS and CBS EM if you do not have a formative construct and if your sample size is not too small right in other cases I suggest using CBSEM right actually there are some arguments some people are I'm not sure why they are um, you know uh, totally against PLSSCM there are some journals they reject papers that have used PLSSCM um, I believe each method has its own advantages and disadvantages so we need to know the limitations of each method no method is perfect right uh, so when we use we acknowledge the limitations so um, I would say that uh, based on um, what I have seen in academia and uh, based on my personal experience um, when you want to test your model use Amos and I mean use CBSEM and of course one of the software packages is Amos you can use any software you want use CBSEM however when you have formative construct or your sample size is too small yes why not use PLSSCM this is my rule of thumb to use these methods